Hello, this is Chafte, Chafte, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2 and Hello Butterfly. And in this episode, not episodes, episode, sorry, and I leveled up my crossbow. Anyway, uh, in this episode, we're gonna finally build our fluid nuke. Part by part. But in the meantime, I did a small thing. I have some stuff around here. Yeah, woven silks. They are made from silk wisps and they are either from Wispy Queen or Sticky Propolis. And Sticky Propolis comes from sticky, uh, Silky Comb. And Silky Comb comes from a bunch of tree, uh, bees. Yeah, I just realized that. Uh, but I got for them from the tropical one. Anyway, what we're gonna do is... It's interesting. We're gonna make... A carpenter and seed oil. Let's do this. And you have some honey, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, you have. You have. Anyway, do you need to be this, right? Yep. You need to be this. Okay. In this case, and you didn't connect to the power. Of course, of course. Let's just do this and this. I have to connect. Actually, I have to make a RF testing in this area. And yeah, that, that would be in my to-do list, but first I have to finish the nuclear reactor. And also in, in the meantime, we have a bunch of pomelo, lemon, mandarin, key lime, etc. lemon, etc. And I am trying to get uh, more trees around here. Also, I added one more to this electrical stimulator and I add more um, with a uh, golden thingy, and also I'm trying to get uh, every other, uh, every fluid that I can get, uh, every food that I can consume to bring my heart in a better place. And we got our first 45 slot miner's backpack. Oh yeah. And with that, we actually have a better mining slot. And our extraterrestrial uh, quests will be much more smoother. And I will upgrade the rest of them. In the meantime, I'm actually going to plan... Uh, I need to plan something. Yeah, we plan to make a nuclear reactor area, and I will actually add more reactors uh, than this guy. So, what I'm planning to do is... Also, the turbines actually can fit there, here, I guess. I hope so. If not, I have to make more layers to this building. What I'm planning to do is make an extension building here. Uh, maybe just one chunk, or maybe two chunks, uh, a few chunks. Uh, this area will uh, will be a tower, and that tower will house our nuclear reactors. And I will probably design it that uh, that building accordingly. But I still don't have any ideas what to build. So you will be surprised as I do. And with my playstyle, the worst thing about new projects are building. Actually, it can be the best thing. But uh, the not so best thing about building is the planning. Luckily, this time I decide to go easy on myself and just build a. Uh, just gonna build a silo. Yeah, because it's a nuclear reactor. And I like, I actually like silos. And we have this guy. This is actually a really simple recipe. And 
I just need a lever. Lever, 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 lever. I really need a wireless term terminal. Eventually. After the reactor. Lever, 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 lever. Come here, my friends. Now, this building thingy helps us with planning. And what I'm going to do is the chunk borders come here and I will make it four. One, two, three, four. And I just get, got an email to my laptop and I forgot it is loud. It is loud. And it's in the wrong uh, format. Okay, that sh silo should be okay. And what I'm going to do is... I will dig. I will dig around this area and build the silo. And put something on top of it. And this guy will help us. And uh, actually, should I make a bit bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make a bit bigger. And oh, look! The Blood Moon. Yay! I was about to do some thing thingy magic, and the Blood Moon decides to come here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. And let me just do something uh, real quick. And a, good, a nice small tip, uh, use fast uh, settings when searching for the mutated leaves, because they look like this. They rendered in the fast uh, version, but rest of it... Uh, no, they uh, rendered in the fancy version, but the rest of it just fast. And I already have Pamela. Amelo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Also, a small update. I have these bees, and I just need to upgrade th those to these. And yeah, also, let me look at the tree. Ah, yeah, I got these parts already, and I just need to get this tree. This tree tree, but... Those are not the only trees that uh, exist in this game, and I want to get all of them. Literally all of them. Yeah, uh, that's a huge ambition, I know, and yeah, we will just wait for this nightmare to end. I dig my hole, you build a wall. I dig my hole, you build a wall. And after some terraforming, let's just show you a really nice trick about the advanced, uh, the enhanced version of this guy. Yep. I can place anything I want by just right clicking. And the first layer is already done. Now the second layer. We're just going to right click here. Uh, should I make an auto clicker? I know. Uh, if I was in the Excel one, I would use X2 tools, but I don't know the valent equivalent of it. And I'm currently on valent. So I will just hold right click. And the entire building process is just repeating this kind of stuff again and again, and I'm again mostly out of hemp crates. Good thing is, hemp crate cr crafting is super simple. Bad thing is, I think I should automate it at some point for my own sanity. And since the building is done, mostly, I just need to make a way between this building and this building. And apparently I missed a spot. Yeah, uh, I can fix it. I can fix it later. I do not, have, do not have any hemp crate on me. All I have to do is just do some calculations and... 
I just need to learn how much I'm gonna need for uh, conversion rates. And also, every 10 minutes, I have to take this quest. Yeah, because I want some smoke. So I can say smoking. And uh, let's look at it. If, if I place this guy here, as you can see, it gives some smoke. So yeah, that would be that. And after some time, the silo is mostly ready. Also, the, most of the other necessary things. And I did something. I put a, some smokers here. I'm not fully sure about this arrangement, but it works. And the only way inside is from the energy uh, building. We also have to put a maintenance here, a tunnel here, to get here. Yeah, basically. Because one machine in this entire uh is gonna use energy. And the others are just going to use stuff. And what we're going to do is... First is building the reactor itself. Yes. Now, the this reactor is a bit different from the rest of them. And uh, the center of the chunk is should be here. Yeah, this. Okay. And let's put you here and the reactor here. And you're gonna take forever, right? Yes. So, not to, not to self, do not misplace them. Now, let's place these guys. By the way, we cannot place them anywhere. We have, they have to be adjacent to a reactor core. The area you see is, and the frame you see is, the place that it has to be reactor pressure vessel. They cannot be anything else. For example, access hatch, you're gonna be here. Yeah. Access hatch is an interesting thing. We we cannot we can access the reactor from here with that. And actually I will add one more access hatch here. Uh, just for loading, actually, come to think of it, it can be, this is gonna take forever, right? Yep. Yeah, we, you can be here. And I'm gonna put a redstone, I know, the fleet port should be here, two fleet ports. And there should be a redstone control. Ah, redstone port, okay. Come here. And rest is just this. And the fluid reactor is not done because we didn't seal the top. Okay, we sealed the top. And as you, as you can see, the interface changed a bit. When we do this, the fluid reactor, when we do the fluid reactor, at this point, reactor does not produce EU. In this point, it just produces heat unit. And that heat unit will carry it with, let me just uh, show you, the coolant. And then those coolants, uh, it will come to this guy. And so let me just place this here. Actually, it, should it be a bit higher? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's good. It's good. And we're gonna need one more thing with this guy. It doesn't need any energy. Uh, it just needs uh, heat itself. It's also going to consume something it's gonna consume the heated any heated thingy 
actually not any heated thingy. First input hatch. The input hatch has to be on bottom. The other way around, thank you. And those two should be center. And then what we're gonna need is the source of steam and, so, uh, and the output for high pressure steam, uh, superheated steam and distilled water. And the output hatch can be one block top. Yes. And the other output hatch should be here. And I miscalculated the plates, right? Yep. Yep, I miscalculated them. I need eight more. Wonderful. Wonderful, my friends. Wonderful. And yeah, the new places should be here. And we're gonna need to craft one more friend here. And that friend would be fluid ejector upgrade. Which is actually quite simple. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And this machine is ready. It just needs a simple touch from the old friend. And whenever we pr uh, provide with uh, distilled water, it has to be distilled water. And also, you have to always provide with distilled water. Uh, if it's out of distilled water, it will just kaboom. Yeah, just that. <laughs> So be careful about that. And other than that, this machine is ready. The next thing is going to be, come here, our distilled water source. And it's just a simple distillation tower. And uh, you're gonna need two output hatch. By the way, it should be okay with one hatch, but apparently it uh, it just requ uh, wants a uh, output. Uh, I did, yeah, that's a strange thingy, strange setup. The reservoir hatch, and it should be okay. And is it just nighttime or is it the blood moon? Yeah, it's blood moon. It's blood moon, guys. Again, two blood moons in the same episode. Uh, it's something, it's definitely something. And what we're gonna need later is moving this distilled water. Actually, here should be better. And I think this is a better place. What we're gonna need is just pipe things together. And in the meantime, also get some stuff, some more stuff. While also waiting for that, let's place turbines. Yep, those turbines are going to be really awesome. First, we need to place the these guys. The these guys, not the, yeah. I kind of sort of butchered the English itself. No problem, no problem. I'm kind of used to it. And these turbines are ready, and, and not ready actually. We need to place the maintenance hatch, the input hatches. And they also require output hatches. Those are high pressure large turbine. High pressure large turbines uses superheated steam instead of normal steam. And they will produce EU and steam and that steam will be used for this other guy and this other guy is normal steam turbine uh the regular old steam turbine in multi-block form yep uh, we haven't used this guy guys smaller uh sisters brothers for a really long time and what I'm also gonna need is some dynamo hatches because I'm 
I didn't print any, the same as usual. And output hatch, uh, not output hatch, you should be input hatch here. Input hatch, input hatch. And then output hatches. Now, what I'm going to need is some really high pressure uh, pipes and some, uh, well, uh, beefy uh, dynamo hatches and the turbines. And making turbines are actually relatively easy, but just a bit expensive. And they are getting crafted. Okay, I have a strange solution to our thingamajig that I will use these guys. Now, all I have to do is uh, first place the dynamo hatches and then the turbines should be ready. And the second, I have to place the pipe, but it has to be at least, yeah, you get the quest, uh, 64 blocks. So I will keep things long. And apparently this approach doesn't work. And apparently I haven't get this achievement. And I just re I just remembered something. We have actually another long distance uh, transportation method that is. And how can I turn you into fluid mode? Okay, it's just simple as this. Okay, you are steam and place the other one here and this large thingy majiggy the thingies and yep now all i have to do is connect this to this and the other side too I use this uh, pipe because it is enough uh, throughput and I can just configure it however I want. And where's my wrench? Okay. And here. Thank you. Now, this should also work. Where is the regulators? Okay. Steam regulator. Also, I have to put one uh, more pipe here, and if you do, let's just say, I think I should, okay, this is the optimal uh, steam flow that we uh, we decide I want to achieve, and let's get our turbines, they are ready. And hello, my creeper friends. Goodbye, my creeper friends, because I don't like you at all. And voila, those are ready. Now, what we're going to need is a few things. First, I have to close these gaps. That's first. Second, I have to connect the energy. Third, I have to design a shot, a shutting method. And let's look at it. Okay. But it's currently working. Uh, they're working as intended. And those are not high throughput uh, thingies, uh, so I can just use them as however I want. And I think I can move you. Yep. Move you here. And we are just need, need to connect this to the here. Uh, this is just going to be dummy. Actually, I can just put a UHV, a ULV one here and be okay. But I had some ex uh, one extra high voltage and you're still he here. Why? Why are you here? Okay, now time to test this guy. Yep, we have a distilled water source. Voila! 
<laughs> Voila, the distilled water is ready. And all I need to do is just pipe it. Pipe it with pipes. And come here. Yep. This guy has now a source of fluid here. And I have to make a shutdown mechanism for this guy. Because if this tank is empty, I want this guy to be shut, out, shut immediately. Yeah, I will do that. Also, let's do one more thing that... Yep. And I think it should be enough-ish. Let's break those and... Extension panels, come here. Yep, and if I put place this guy here and gives a redstone signal, you should be reading out of range. Okay, uh, we need range upgrades. We need some range upgrades. Range upgrade. Okay, you are super simple, but I will just temporarily move you here ah. come here and voila and this, this should be okay yep and what I'm also gonna need is some control mechanisms that's the rest of the project, but I'm also feeling super tired and I feel the episode is long. And the... Um, uh, yeah, editing this episode is gonna take a while. So, I... We are going to finish this project in the next episode. And in the meantime, please do not forget to like, comment, and give feedback about this video. I have to find a better sol uh, end credits. So, yeah. Anyway, have an amazing day.